How are you doing? Can I ask your opinion in, on the DevOps area? I mean, your opinion on their jobs. It looks like they're really helpful for devs. Um, when it comes to DevOps and, and a lot of the developments, like I, I'm not a pro professional programmer and the most I've done is be an IT director, just to give you some background, uh, I'd be an IT director and have like a team of people doing basic like CRM type stuff and designing things underneath me. And I was responsible for those teams, uh, de developing the interface and kind of just pointing to development and that type of thing. Uh, but I also was responsible for all the infrastructure and help desk and all that where I'd have people working in those areas. So I, I oversaw pretty much all that uh, in like 2016 was probably the peak of my career, I'd say. And I don't think I have enough experience to properly answer that question because it's never been like a team of programmers. It's always been just a couple. And it's interesting. Uh, I, I think DevOps themselves can be hindrance to a lot of programmers and programmers themselves. I like it if they were more self-sufficient to where they just spin up and spin down what they need without having to submit a ticket or bothering the infrastructure guy that's working on upgrades and other stuff. It'd be so much better if that's self-contained so they can just do whatever they need to do and just have the, the resources there. So when I hear DevOps, it can off, off, often mean a lot of different things, but to me, I like the separation of infrastructure and programmers, so to speak, you know, that, that in between of DevOps and yeah, it almost feels like help desk for programmers kind of thing. And it's how some companies treat it. And I don't like that. I kind of like the, the infrastructure guy, just handling all the hardware, handling all the, you know, stuff, whether it be Active Directory, those types of upgrades, that that makes sense to me. And the programmers just being able to do their thing without having to rely on an infrastructure, infrastructure guy like myself. And uh, I think that's where the magic is, is that modern day, like big companies obviously have to do something different, probably. I just don't like that. I don't see how that would be very efficient. So that's my opinion on it. However, again, I don't have enough experience really to be an authority on this subject for sure. Yeah, as a software director, you have to know how to install and deploy it and have it in mind from the get-go. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely a thing. Uh, and I too many people try to specialize and say, I'm only going to do this one thing. It happens in infrastructure too. I've run into many people like, I am a Linux admin. I don't touch that Windows stuff. And I'm like, yeah, you need to. Yeah, you absolutely have to know Windows Server with Active Directory. Almost every business runs on it. And almost everything runs on O365. So knowing some Azure and, and being able to do some PowerShell is pretty much a necessity to be anything in infrastructure. From a development standpoint, I'm pretty sure you, it's like specializing in only one language. Like, what are you doing? Come on, you got you to gotta at least know two or three and uh, to get going. You can't just be like, I am a C programmer and I do nothing else. So that, that's my opinion.